Hey, what's going on, everybody? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net. And I want to share a little bit of content with you guys today because I, over the past 10 years of being a designer and brand consultant, I've realized that a lot of folks are struggling with this particular thing. And I want to shed some light on it because this could make or break your brand's messaging, okay? So the topic of the conversation today is, if you're fishing for whales, you cannot use minnow bait. What do I mean by that? So for example, if you are a coach, consultant, or you have a product or service that is geared towards a higher level clientele, let's say these clients are typically used to spending anywhere of a thousand dollars plus for whatever it is that you sell right and you approach them with a ebook or a downloadable pdf that you got done from fiverr that looks like a five dollar piece of junk right and you try to sell it to them for seven dollars or twenty dollars right they're going to laugh at you because it is not the right bait right for them to chew on, for them to get excited about what it is that you're trying to offer, okay? So for those folks that are looking for a higher quality clientele, you have to use bait that is very value-based and very credible and has a higher price tag to it. Because if these folks are used to paying more money for their services, then that's what they're more comfortable with buying, okay? So you don't wanna use minnow bait if you're fishing for whales. And that is a big, big problem because here's what happens. You completely, completely destroy your brand's positioning. You actually make yourself look cheap. You make yourself look amateur. You make yourself look um, subpar to what your target audience is actually wanting, right? So let's imagine this for a second. Let's imagine you start using the right bait to catch those whales that you want to serve and you want to do business with. And they start circling around. And they start coming into your world. And they start wanting more information from you. They start doing their homework on you. And all of a sudden they start nibbling on the bait that you are providing them through your content. And all of a sudden, bam, you hook one, right? Now what happens? You're sitting at your desk and you see the PayPal uh, payment come through, or you're sitting at your desk and you see the Stripe payment come through, or you're on the phone having a call with a prospect and all of a sudden they say, you know what? I'm sold. All right, let's do this. What's that feeling that comes over you at that moment? Holy blank. It finally worked. I finally closed the sale. I'm excited to help this person get the results that they're looking for. Boom. Your whole world's changed because of one minor tweak. You started to use the right bait. Bam, it's that simple. It's that simple. So think about this. If you want to begin attracting higher clientele, people that are willing to spend more, right? Imagine the effect that that, that has on your business. So instead of working with 50 people, maybe you only have to work with 10, all right? And if you start to use the right bait, what's gonna happen? It's actually going to repel the people that can't afford you or the tire kickers or the time wasters that you're so used to working with or so used to um, attracting because you're using the wrong bait. So my question for you today is, are you attracting the right people? Are you attracting the right client? 
Are you using the right bait? And if not, why not? And that's the question. That's the question. So with all that said, guys, I challenge you to reevaluate the bait that you're using to attract your specific clientele and see whether or not that it's even of par to what it is that they're looking for. And I promise you, you will have a better return on your investment and you will start to attract the right people when you start to use the right bait. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some value out of it. Again, my name is Henry Kaminsky from UniqueDesigns.net. I love this uh, community and looking forward to um, providing more value and more content uh, on a more consistent basis for you. So talk to you soon, guys. Have a great weekend.